After a month-long standoff between Republican leaders at the Texas Capitol over the best way to reduce your property tax bill, there could soon be progress. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick told senators he will meet with House Speaker Dade Phelan next week. I sent him a text and said the best way to resolve this is face-to-face. They have responded of looking forward to a meeting. His remarks came after senators passed a property tax relief bill that also includes extra payments for Texas teachers for the next two years. An amendment proposed by Democratic State Senator Roland Gutierrez of San Antonio and approved and signed by the other 30 senators calls for giving teachers an extra $2,000 in school districts with more than 20,000 students and an extra $6,000 in districts with fewer than 20,000 students. So I want everybody in Texas to know that we all sat up at the front with, this, with the president's leadership and we did this. It took us an hour and a half, two hours, but we worked out all those differences. The bill also provides $18 billion in total property tax relief. Homeowners would see their homestead exemptions rise to $100,000. Senators say that provides savings of nearly $2,600 to most homeowners for the first two years and nearly $3,000 in savings for the first two years for homeowners over 65. The legislation also doubles the business franchise tax exemption to nearly two and a half million dollars. That means 67,000 small businesses would not have to pay a business franchise tax at all. The Texas House also convened and the Ways and Means Committee passed a different bill than the Senate's. It doesn't increase the homestead exemption, but it does focus solely on reducing property tax rates and instead replacing them with state revenues. So we reach out to our friends in the House and we ask them to seriously consider this bill. And we emailed Speaker Dade Phelan's office for comment, but we didn't hear back. If the House also passes the Senate bill and the governor signs it, voters would have to approve it on Election Day. Doug? Jack Fink, thank you for keeping us updated. We appreciate it.